Hello friend, welcome to Mechanical DMC. In this video, I am going to present about driverless vehicle. A vehicle which can get on from one place to another place without human interference. A vehicle which can reach its destination without use of human. It is also known as the autonomous vehicle. Google driverless car is most popular in the, popular in the world and most of the automobile industries are going to be replaced the normal vehicle by driverless vehicle so that is being a mechanical engineer we should know about it feature to move the driverless vehicle on the road without human interference you should detect the outer environment it should find the position of itself on the road so that it can follow the path it should it should follow and it should have the analyzing unit is a system processor like the cpu of the computer which will analyze the input data and give the output as a mechanical force also. Mainly it comprised of radar, glitter system, cruise automated system, laser range finder, ultrasonic sensors, position sensors, orientation sensor, GPS receiver, digital maps, aerial for geolocation and other new techniques also. Leader, light detection and ranging system. Mostly it is situated on the vertical and horizontal set of the system and image equitation with fully integrated Nikol DSLR camera is used to detect the outer environment and 360 degree rotation with continuous 3D visual scan is possible it means it will be rotated on the horizontal and vertical horizontally 360 degree and so that it will visualize the outer environment mainly used by Google for detection of surroundings of the vehicle. Cruise system. It is similar to leader system. It lies on front and above side of the vehicle. Cameras and radars to map the outer surroundings are used in the system. A steering wheel motor mounted on the steering wheel helps in adaptive speed control. Laser range finder. It is just a rotating camera lies on the roof of the car. It creates 3D image of the object helping the car see hazards along the way. This device calculates how far an object is from the moving vehicle based on the time it takes for the laser beam to hit the object and come back. It means it will it will reflect the some laser and receive the some same lasers and it will detect the distance between object and it and it will control the system. It can calculate the distance and create the image for the object in the distance of 200 meter range. Ultrasonic sensors on rear wheel. An ultrasonic sensor on one of the rear wheels help keep the track of the movements of the car and it will alert the car about the obstacle in the rear. It is mostly used for rear rear object obstacles. Okay? This helps during the back motion or simply during the parking. GPS receiver. As I already know that the it is most important to know where is the what is the position of the vehicle on the road to follow the path it should follow. So the GPS receiver GPS global uh, receiver or global position system is based space based navigation that provides location and time. It works anywhere in the earth where there is an there is an on of structures of lines of Side to four or more GPS satellites is available. GPS keeps the vehicle on its intended route within an accuracy of 35 cm. Aerial for precise geolocation. An aerial on the rear of the car receives the information about the precise geolocation of the car. The car's GPS internal navigation unit works with the sensor to help the car localize itself. The GPS data is compared with the sensor map data previously collected. Vehicle to vehicle communication. This is very important to communicate the vehicles on the road for the to prevent the accidents too. It is generally used radio waves. It lets car brokers their position, speed, steering wheel position, brake start and other data to other vehicle within a few hundred meters. Algorithm. The whole the system or whole the units of driver vehicle is similar to computer system where in we will give some inputs and there will be CPU and it will analyze the data and give the output. Similar to here also we have some algorithms 
which will analyze the input input we have given the combination of 3d imaging with multiple 1064 mn lasers a detection algorithm motor motion detection algorithm tracking algorithm and more working mechanism we can explain the working mechanism of this driverless vehicle is a electronic components or electronic system where we will give some input devices for example from sensors leaders gps receiver laser and finder and etc and also from mobile apps online controller from human beings also and in the processing units we will give some codes we will do some algorithm the computer softwares automobile chips they will analyze the data we have given or the sensors given to it and as output it will give the func function of mechanical mechanism such as braking acceleration turning etc i want to give i want to give an example when the driver's vehicle is on the road it will get some in information from input sensors for example sensor from gps and it will goes to gps system processor and also the sensor input from sensor e, maybe laser and finder and other more it will goes to system processor and it will detect if the detection of obstacle is appeared it means it, it detects the obstacle in the roads then automatic braking system will automatically started and if there is very free way it means it can move on the road so that acceleration or speed up will activate it automatically in this way it will over these are these figures shows the vehicle on the road diverse vehicle on the road first figure is laser and detect, detect, detecting system second one is automatic turning system third one is automatic parking system fourth one is digital mapping user in interface where we can give some input or we can give our destination and it will move according, accordingly achievement in the world there are lots of projects and all projects and lots of company are interested to this so that lots of achievements we have Nutronomy started the use of first driver's vehicle for public transportation in Singapore from August 26, 2016. Google tested more than 5 million safe automated self driving Now we company started automotive public minibus at Lion, City of France. More than 60,000 passengers travel in City Mobile to autonomous bus in La Rochelle, City of France. Yamu tested more than 10 lakh miles automated self driving the Chinese bus company Yontong is providing a self-driving city bus along 20 mile route from the city of Jethong to Kaiwen and more. New project and country. I as I already told that there are lots of projects are ongoing in the world. The most projects are weapons by Netherlands, City Mobile to Greece, One North by Singapore, Sentosa by Singapore. Bet mine by Switzerland, Easy Mind by USA, Alta Phones by UK, Robot Taxi by Japan, Baidu by China, and other more. Half coming vehicle on the road. According to their announcement and according to announcement by the automobile industries, the following are the most important, most famous vehicle on the road will come in near future. For example, GM will GM taxi will come soon. BMW will launch the car for public transportation by 2021. Tesla will launch the car by 2018 for public transportation. And Google will launch the car by 2020 for public use. And Uber will launch car for by 2021 for public use. And Volvo will launch the truck for 2025 for public. This figure shows some of the driver's vehicle on the road. First one is City Mobile 2, which is which is serving for the people in the city of France. And second one is City Mobile 2 for the people of France. And second one is Google Driver's Car. And third one is Uber Driver's Car. Pros and cons. In the world, everything has some advantage and disadvantage. It has also some pros and cons. It has lost lots of efforts. For example, it makes the trips more safer, faster, and cheaper. It reduces the human effort in driving, and must 
the important thing is it reduces the road accident that occurred in this hole. It reduces the traffic jam. It is very helpful to the people having physical disabilities. No need to learn the driving is most important advantage of this. Increase the urban areas. Improve energy efficiency is most important of this vehicle system. It, had, it has also some disadvantage. Most disadvantage are it is high cost. Due to the ethical risks and trolley problem is also most disadvantage of the system. Precision of external environment is also cons. Um, the need of infrastructure modification is also a disadvantage of this vehicle. And complexity in design makes the design uh, design problem and the law should be changed for the new technology and failure in critical situations are mostly disadvantage of this vehicle. Scope of driverless vehicle in India Like the country India, it is not beyond the, that limit of the driverless vehicle. Here also most of the uh, number of project and number of practicals are going on. In 2012, Bangalore engineers drive for the test to build India's first driverless car, Tata Nam Autonomous. Auru is an ambitious startup started by a bunch of IITians who are on the verge of launching India's first driverless car. The three IITs, Kharagpur, Kanpur, and Bombay, have been involved in the autonomous ground vehicle AVG project and testing their technology on Mahindra E20 electric cars. It supports the important goal of the countries like Make in India, Smart City and Swachha Bharat Abhiyan. It can help to reduce the horse accident that occur in India. It can restrict in being back with a competitive role in the automobile, automotive and automobile. It can reduce the problem of traffic jam to limitations. Lack of 3D map in the country is most limitations of the driverless vehicle in India like country like India. Lack of testing and project related to this. Lack of government interest and policy towards it. Lack of interest by the manufacturing industry are limitations of driverless vehicle in India. Conclusion This figure will show the conclusion of this driverless vehicle. First, in first figure shows the situation now, situation that occurring in now. If someone sees the driver's vehicle on the road, he will say, Oh my god, there is nobody driving that car. But in the future, if no someone sees nobody is driving the driving the car, it means if he sees the driver's vehicle on the road, he will say, Oh my god, there is somebody. In the future, if someone is driving the car, the people will say, Oh my god, there is somebody driving that car. It is the future of this car future of this car. And in the conclusion, the driverless vehicle came into reality. These consist of different sensors and radars, lidars, lidar GPS technology and to function automatically. The use of this type of vehicle can certainly reduces the road accident. The working depends on how we are giving the algorithm so ethical risk is more. Many old stop manufacturing companies started to manufacturing for the commercial purpose. And at last, it is necessary to manufacture this type of vehicle in India, like country like India, for the advancement of the people of life and move to move with competitive world. And at last, I want to say that I am not a designer, designer of this driverless car. I am not a owner of this driverless car. I have just collected some information and I have read books and articles to present to you so that you may help you from this presentation and if there is any mistakes or I am mistake in data or I have told some mistakes in this presentation please mention in the comment and if you want really if you really want this presentation or PPT file please first of all please subscribe my channel and like this video and mention your Gmail ID in the comment box I will forward this presentation made by me to you so that you will be benefited in different different program and you will may you will help you from this presentation and at last in this mechanical DDMC program and in this mechanical DDMC channel 
I am presenting and lots of new techniques and I am going to giving lectures on KR computer data designing, um, 3D modeling and simulation softwares too so that you can get benefited from this channel so that please subscribe to get benefited and at last I want to say goodbye have a nice day and see you on next video thank you